hey what's up peeps welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna show you guys a super easy diy paver walkway that i did in one weekend this was my very first time ever doing something like this and it was so easy all right guys so i'm out on the patio as you guys can see I just did this pergola. Um, I'm not 100% done with it yet, but this is my patio. Because I built this pergola, I now have these wood posts that I feel like has taken up some square footage of the patio. And I don't want it to feel crowded, you know, with people moving their chairs and such. So I just want to extend the patio just a bit. All right, now I'm at Menards, which is where I got most of my products from for this project. And I only had to pay $19 to rent the truck for over an hour, and they loaded it up for free. So I bought these pavers, as you guys can see, they're pretty wide. And I'm thinking about, you know, adding them all alongside of the patio. Like, excuse the mess, but here I have the entryway. And as you guys see, I have the pergola here. And we only have a small little sidewalk here, but as you see the pergola post, it just takes up half the sidewalk. So what I want to do is I wanna make this entire space, of course I'll move the chimney, but I wanna make this entire space like one huge entryway to the patio so what i'm gonna do is start digging and i'm gonna dig all the way around and i'm going to put these posts maybe like have a little bit of space in between each post and then maybe just had some like small little rocks in between each post so you guys will see so I got these from Home Depot. It's just some anchoring spikes and some twine so that way I can mark around the area. All right, so I went ahead and moved the girls and I put my first paver down just to get an idea of how I want it. So I have this ruler here and I tried to do three inches in between the patio and the paver. So we have three inches there. Then I want three inches on the opposite side. So I'm going to make a mark here and this is where I'm going to start cutting the grass. So as you guys can see, I'm marking at the 32 inch mark. So I'm giving myself 32 inches more of space around the perimeter of the patio. And here I'm just putting in the anchor in the ground and also tying the twine around it so that way I can mark the area that I'm cutting like I said earlier. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to grab my twine and then I'm just going to kind of hold it over here and bring it all the way over here to the next one super easy so now I just need to cut this and tie it around and then we got 32 inches all right so now that I lined out the grass I'm going to start digging as you guys can see a better look of why I want to put these pavers here because the grills completely kill the grass it looks horrible so what I want to do is just fix that and then also having the pavers will make the yard feel a lot larger than what it is so let's get started and then I will show you guys the process All right guys, as I'm digging, I'm realizing that I think I'm digging a little too deep. So as you guys see, I have all that space um, that I dug against the patio here. However, that's way too deep. So what I think I could do is maybe wrap tape around the shovel so I know where to stop. So I have my paper right here and it seems like it's about two and a half inches high and I'm probably just going to do maybe three inches just to be you know safe so I'm just going to tape right at the three inch mark so 
so finally I'm all done. It took me about two hours to dig up the perimeter of the patio, but not too bad. Most of the time was just spent, you know, getting rid of the grass, but I don't think I did a bad job. What do you guys think? So now that the grass is all dug up, now I'm just using this metal rake to loosen up the dirt so that way later I can pack it in, which I'll show you. All right, so I've watched a ton of videos of trying to learn how to level soil. Almost every video I've seen, they had some type of fancy machine equipment. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna spend, you know, that money to rent it or even buy that kind of machine. So I kind of came up with a way, please don't follow my way exactly. I'm just kind of winging it. So I got a board, it's about the same width as my pavers. And then I have this just leveler. So I lay it here. So what my goal is, is to have the circle like centered like that so i'm gonna scoot it down just a little bit more as you guys see it's pretty centered it's a little bit off but the reason being is underneath the board as you guys can see there's a lot of missing soil on that side and that side so what i try to do is pack dirt underneath the sides that you know need it and then go back to the leveler and see if that you know helps and i know this is not you know the super professional way of doing things but if you're trying to save money and you don't want to rent a fancy machine to you know tell you if it's even then this is kind of what you have to do and if you have like a ruler or something something flat to like kind of get it up under there that'll be even better all right so what i'm gonna do is make sure the rest of the dirt is leveled i have kind of a ways to go as you guys see so i'll be back um if you guys want to of course like find a better solution than this definitely try um, this is not really a tutorial i'm just showing you what i'm doing but I definitely feel like there is a better solution and something that's quicker. Um, I know some people like use quicksand or the leveling sand. However, I'm kind of doing this on a budget, so we'll see. So, so far, this is what I've done with my board. I haven't even used the tamper to like patten down the dirt yet, but it looks pretty flat compared to what I haven't done already. As you guys see, this dirt looks pretty uneven because I haven't even gotten to that side. So it seems like my little DIY board and dollar store leveler actually did a pretty decent job. So I'll be back once I'm done. But yeah, it looks pretty flat and it all measures out. So now that I leveled out the dirt as best as I could, now I'm using this tamper. It was about $25 at Home Depot, and I'm just using this to flatten the dirt even more so that way it's extremely even before I put the pavers down. So now that we're done dealing with that annoying dirt, I'm putting down the fabric weed control and also the staples to hold it down. And I remember my very first landscaping video you guys got on me in the comments because to prevent the grass from coming up before, I used plastic and nails. And although it's two years later and it actually really did work, you know, now we're more evolved and we're just making, you know, better choices. So, you know, you live and you learn. All right, so now it's time to put down the pavers. And these pavers were so heavy. They were at least like 50 or 75 pounds each. So I had to get some help. But, you know, I tried to kind of eyeball it and measure it. You can put them, you know, as far or as close as you want. But I think I did it about three inches apart, if I'm not mistaken. But they came out really nice and they're pretty even. Right, guys so here's the section here the stones are looking pretty good what I did was I bought 
20 bags of this gray slate rock. It was $6.99 a bag. I bought 20 of them. Hopefully that's enough. So the rocks are laid, guys. Definitely looks like something on a beach or a resort or something that's beautiful. What do you guys think? I think it looks really, really nice. So now I just gotta clean up this mess. <sighs> it's a lot of work. So I had this fire pit table for a while now and I decided to change the fire rocks to blue and I thought it was really cute and with the leftover rocks I just kind of sprinkled it around the pavers. So now I'm all done. This project took about two days and it wasn't as hard as I thought, especially for a beginner. So now you guys are going to see the final reveal and let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, 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 oh,